Welcome back here to Mr. Evans. And what we're going to be doing today is cooking. We're going to be doing something that's pretty easy to do, really healthy, and you can meal prep for pretty much an entire week. So we're going to be doing crock potting. I love a crock pot because it's something very simple, it's easy, put all the ingredients together, let it boil for hours on end, stir it two or three times, 12 hours later, you have a bunch of meals made. So, now, for this crock pot, what we're going to do is pretty much all um, raw materials. The beans aren't going to come from cans. The carrots aren't going to come from, you know, something pre-made. They're going to be whole carrots. You're going to chop them up yourself. The beans are going to be dry. They're going to come out of bags, not cans. And uh, so, we'll get into that. Now, first, what we're going to start with is water. Everything needs water to boil in, especially these dry beans. So, six cups of water, or H2O, two hydrogen and one oxygen, which makes water. Six cups of water should be enough, at least to start with. Now, over the course of 12 hours, you may have to put a little bit more water in, depending on how much uh, will evaporate from your crock pot. Every crock pot is different. But we're going to start with six cups of water. Then, we're going to go into a one-fourth cup of navy beans. Navy beans are white. They are great in fiber, high in protein. After the navy beans, we're going to go for a fourth cup of black eyed peas. After the black eyed peas, we're going to go with one more fourth cup of Great Northern Beans, which are white as well. Just what happens, all three of those are white. So, what we're going to do is put all these beans into the six cups of water. And we're going to let that boil for a couple of hours. We're not going to add anything to it just yet. We're just going to let those get about half cooked. You know, where the beans are a little soft, but they're definitely not ready to eat. The reason we're going to do that, and um, one second here, I'm going to just trade out. So uh, the reason we're going to do that is because the next fourth cup of ingredients are lentils. Lentils, pretty thin, and uh, they don't take quite as long as beans. You can get lentils cooked in an hour, you know. So we're going to let all of this pretty much simmer until it's about halfway done. Then we're going to add the one-fourth cup of lentils. We're going to, at that time, also add a one-fourth cup of butter. Then you're going to chop up three whole carrots. You can make them as small as you want. I like to take the ends and make them kind of long, and then once it gets thicker, make them a little bit, you know, thinner. And then you're going to take half an onion, chop it up however you like, and put it in there. Now, when you're putting in the lentils, you're going to put in the butter, the carrots, the onion. After all that's went in there, then you can start working on the meat. I like beef and chicken. You can do anything you want. But you want, you know, pretty good healthy portions. So for this much food, I would suggest two whole breasts, two chicken breasts, you know, two chicken breasts chopped up into half inch pieces. You can do skinless, boneless, or you can do it with skins, whichever or for you. Now. Once this is all added, you will then be able to step away from it for probably, you know, two, three hours. Then come by, stir it a little bit, and then come back, you know, another two, three hours later, and it should be done. If you want to add barbecue and make this a barbecue stew, at this point when you're adding the chicken breast is when you'd want to add the barbecue. How much barbecue you would need? You would need half a cup. One half cup. Of barbecue 
should be enough to sweeten up all of that. So, once it's all done, 12 hours of cooking later, you're going to have something that looks just like this.